Today on Brides of Beverly Hills, Mamie Van Doren, a Hollywood legend. I got my phone on vibrate, baby. Believe it or not, she's 80 years old. Wow. Not too bad. Are those real? <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> you can touch them all. Oh, they're warm. <laughs> Is this not insanely amazing? Deborah's trying on dresses two, three, four times her budget. What's the matter with you? A $12,000 dress, she has a $3,000 budget. This is what I want to do. Finding a wedding gown is like finding a husband. When you fall in love, it's time to stop looking. I've been in the bridal business for over 30 years. With a great team and an eye for the perfect dress, I make dreams come true for the brides of Beverly Hills. Maria, can you do me a favor? Sure. Will you open the store for me this morning? Okay. Because I have an appointment and I don't want to be late. I'll be there right away. Thank you. This morning I told my staff I'd be a little bit late because I've taken Kevin Lee's advice. You need a little facelift, darling. Oh. So I booked an appointment with Dr. 90210, Dr. Ray. He is the plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. He's got his own TV show. He sells shapewear all over the world. And oh my gosh, Dr. Ray is gorgeous. Nothing less would describe him. Odd to see you here. You're such a beautiful woman. <laughs> Well, I need a lot of work, but I want to start small. Well, you know, boobs have gone small. You're absolutely correct. It was so funny because he thought I was there for a boob job. And, I mean, I I've never really been worried about that. Those are pretty enormous. The days of the big balloons of Baywatch are over. And we're very happy as plastic surgeons because the boobs look great for three months, but would drop. Oh, my God! <laughs> he gave me the jelly beans, and I squeeze, 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 and I said, no, no, I'm here for my face. Isn't it obvious? It's starting to sag so much, I can't stand it. If I see myself in the mirror, I'm almost scared. You know what? I deal with celebrities, queens, presidents, wives. I have never met a woman who liked herself. So I think the issue is more in here than what I am seeing. Let's go to the science. Dr. Ray starts to take out these metal measuring sticks. The golden rule, this third equals to this third equals this third right off the bat. You're very, very symmetrical. Beautiful cheekbones. If not, I would have to introduce this little monster. Through your eyelid, bolt it to your face with screws. Ouch. That if you want me to do your nose, which means you're nuts, I literally hammer this chisel to your skull. Oh, God. Listen carefully. It's not a joke because the knife is not without risks. You can die from surgery. Oy. Bottom line, you just need to like the girl in the mirror. I was feeling very good, but it seemed like he was discouraging surgery, which is his business. People cheat sometimes a little bit. They do a little refirm laser down here and keeps this little area tight. Refirm laser. Go in laser. during lunchtime. Looks great. Do twice a year. Go zoop. Done. Capish? Oh. <laughs> so after the appointment with Dr. Ray, I rushed back to the store because I have a very special client coming. The Hollywood bombshell, Mamie Van Doren. Mamie and her husband Thomas came in today because they want to renew their vows. And believe it or not, she's 80 years old. I've been married for 31 years. She's beautiful, she's sexy, iconic, legendary. I could go on and on. Mamie's a Hollywood legend. She was Universal Pictures' answer to Marilyn Monroe back in the 50s. Howard Hughes discovered me. I was 16 then, you know. <laughs> At the age I am now, I'm very glad to be able to say I'm still here. Mamie Van Doren, a Hollywood legend! Thank you My so much. My inventory doesn't necessarily cater to the 80-year-old Hollywood legend, so I called a very dear friend of mine. I will introduce you Amy Michelson. I'm Amy Michelson, and I design very elegant, glamorous, old Hollywood-style gowns. The price range is from 2500 to 10000 I love working with celebrities, and I am a huge, huge fan of Mamie Van Doren. I am so happy to meet you. You are my inspiration. Thank you. Bow down to the goddess of Hollywood glamour. Oh, God, thank you. You're the blonde bombshell of all time, and I get to play dress up with you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I rolled in a bunch of gowns to show Mamie 
and she got so excited. Oh, that one, that one, oh. oh. I felt like I was 16 again, and I was a queen. Mamie gets all inspired, and she took some tool, tied it in a bow, pinned it in her hair, put a little fluffy feather thing in, and it was just the cutest little headpiece. Adorable. You know, now I should probably put it in my collection. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. I love the first gown. Very Hollywood and very glamorous. It's very mermaidy and slinky and sexy. And we have the Mamie original headpiece. And the original. And the original girl. <laughs> she started posing. You know, she's totally vamping for the camera. She's great. But I didn't have any champagne either. I cannot believe that Mamie is 80 years old. There we go. She's so playful and flirty and coquettish. She's just got this wonderful energy and spirit. And I love that kind of confidence in a woman. So God bless her. I got my phone on vibrate, baby. You can call me all night long. Coming up. What do you think of this? No. No? She was just like, no, 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 no. One of the major okay. problems with me is that I have extremely expensive taste. How much is this? 13000 <gasps> Wow. She'll never buy it. Today, we have a very special client, the Hollywood legend, Mamie Van Doren. I got my phone on vibrate, baby. Mamie is 80, and she makes all of us dragging around look like we're 150. I love the first gown. I guess I could have turned it in right there and said, sure, let's do that one. That's beautiful. Oh. But I don't know whether <laughs> this is the one. OK, number two. Meanwhile, I have my next client, and she's here with a lot of people. My name is Deborah Moten, and my fiance's name is Ramondo. I'm a choreographer slash dancer. I have worked with Voice to Men, Whitney Houston, Beyonce. I want my wedding to be just this amazing celebration, and I pretty much want to look like a red carpet diva slash goddess. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. I thought Maria would be able to help them because Maria has a really great sense of style. And you must be Deborah. Yeah. Today I'm helping Deborah, and she brought along her niece, her friend, her sister, and her mother. Uh -huh. Pleasure meeting you. My mother is probably the most opinionated person I know. So if she doesn't like a dress, trust me, I'm going to know about it. Well, ladies, sit back and relax. I'm going to help Deborah. Great. Okay. Right. I'm excited. Yeah. And I don't really care yeah. what you guys think. Uh, the budget for my wedding dress is $2,500 to $3,000. So I have gorgeous dresses here. I showed Deborah dresses in her budget, and every time I showed her something, what do you think of this? No. No? She was just like, no, 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 no. No. One of the major problems with me is that I have extremely expensive taste. Oh, wow, this is really beautiful right here. This dress is way out of your budget. I still want to try it. OK. She went around pulling dresses two, three, four times her budget. Very dangerous place to go. I'm warning you. All righty. OK. Yeah. We're just going to go for it. Let's hey. go. You know what? I got my expensive taste from my mom. So pretty much, mom, this is all your fault. We are coming. We're coming. Oh. has lots to say. Too bad it's all at once. Right it's on the here. bag. Right. Too much talking. Yep, 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 yep. It's beautiful, but it's really, really big. For a garden wedding, how am I going to carry this? It's pretty. It's pretty, but it's not Deborah. No. The first dress that Deborah tried on was a little bit too much for a garden wedding. So how much is this? 13000 <gasps> Wow. Oh. Somebody tell me why we are pulling dresses that are triple, quadruple the budget that Deborah has. She's not going to get a dress of $13,000. So what she should do is try on dresses in her budget. Meanwhile, on the other side of the salon, 
Oh, wow. Very pretty. The second dress that Mamie tried on is called Fancy. So this has a real red carpet look. So you still look bridey, but you're very Hollywood. Hello. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. You really are the most fabulous Hollywood glam girl. I agree. Oh, thank you. you. I love oh, you too. Thank you. thank you. Oh, this one came off. Oh, oh, oh you can take that. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. You look. Marvelous. Thank Beautiful. you. Do you know Dr. 90210, Robert Ray? I actually had a visit with him this morning because everyone's telling me that they are seeing me sag. Oh. I would love oh. to know the best place to go. I've had absolutely no surgery at all on my body. Not too bad. Are those real? <laughs> yes, they are. Oh you can touch them. They... <laughs> I just, I'm not going to touch them. Go on. Okay, okay. Go on. Okay. Go oh, on. Nice. You can go all oh. the <laughs> I had a facelift when I, I turned 60. And I had one about five years ago, which they call a refresher. Oh. And it was just a tuck, and that's the end of it. I was just so lucky. I can see that. <laughs> Meanwhile. So what do you think? Well, Amy? there's plane over here, and there's too much <laughs> going on. <laughs> the party's on the left. The dress with the party to the left. To the left, to the left. It was like one side was amazing and the other side was like extremely boring. On one side, there was ruffles. I mean, a huge ruffle. And then the other side was plain. It wasn't balanced. This dress really needs a six footer with no boobs. Because yeah. the profile, we didn't see the cha cha cha. Yeah. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> we'll be okay. back. Walking away, the dress is gorgeous. If you just walk away from everybody the whole night, you're going to look great. <laughs> Coming up, guess who I have in the salon? Who's here today? Mamie Van Doren. Oh my god, Mamie's here? When Kevin found out this 80-year-old Hollywood legend was upstairs, hey. Kevin ran. Wow. How are you? You look so fabulous. The two dresses that I tried on were like pretty much out of my price range, which made no difference because I hated them anyways. Oh my God. The question is about this dress that I really like. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's the dress. Oh, that's the wow factor. I love this. It just feels great. Sexy, but yet elegant. Deborah loved it, even though her mother criticized it again. Does this go like this? I don't like this piece. You can have fun with that. Okay. It's not doing anything. It's like an email attachment. <laughs> it didn't have a purpose. It was just there. What's this supposed to do? Many things. I mean, you can just leave it like this or wrap it around your shoulders, maybe. It looks like an Indian dress. It looked like a sarong, and that was wrong. I tried. I really tried. I was being extra creative. Then she was just like, no. Nope, nope. I almost wanted to take that scarf and be like, eh. Here's some Hi. flowers. I like the piece. I'm the bride, she's the opening act. Right. Who's the boss? Done with her. I'm the boss. <laughs> Don't please her, please me. The bride's in love with the dress, but it doesn't matter because it was way too expensive. The price is $8,000. That's $8,000. It's $8,000. The dress is out of my budget, but I think it's a little bit more in reach. But I'm gonna try one more dress for you guys, just to see. So while Deborah's changing in the dressing suite, Mamie's trying on a magnificent, oh boy, custom <laughs> Amy Michelson dress, and I mean she really looks like a goddess. Uh, that's it. That's it. Well, the last gown closed the deal for me. Her husband just about fell out of his chair when he saw that one. This dress is called Satin Doll, because oh. she looked like a doll. Oh, break out the champagne, Renee. Meanwhile, downstairs, Hello, Ronnie. My dear friend Kevin Lee walks in. So I just wanted to know yeah. what Dr. Ray said. She needs a facelift, you know. She looks so tired. Dr. Ray said that I look beautiful. Are you serious? He said I need to love the woman in the mirror. Uh -huh. And he told me that actual cutting surgery is going out of style. The new technique is laser. Laser, laser, laser. Laser? How simple can be? Come on, darling. Ah! You gotta do it. You, you wanna come and down? Down? I do. <laughs> I do botas all on my face, of course. <laughs> 
And now, Renee is flying in. I hear champagne is in order. <laughs> May I present, it's not an Oscar, but it's a bouquet. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's thank pretty. You, thank you, thank you very much. Oh. I love it. This is the one. Glamorous and slinky. <laughs> I now pronounce you. <laughs> what does Thomas mean to you? Well, he's been my shoulder to cry on, and he's been my tower to lean on. He's always been there for me, and he's a lovely human being. Yeah, well, I got a lovely human being. <laughs> That's why. Thank you. Meanwhile... Oh, oh <laughs> <man. laughs> you a t-shirt that says that's the dress <laughs> pretty much i went from the mercedes to the bentley it was like no other dress that i've tried on is this not insanely amazing i love that dress this last dress is absolutely the most beautiful dress i've seen now i'm gonna cry oh i'm tearing this is a beautiful dress but it does come at a price here we go what's the price sticker shop so? $12,000. $12,000. Like, this is what I want to do. Why is it that everything that I love, I can't afford? It's way out of my budget. Do you think that, you know, you could talk to Renee and maybe she can do something for me? I'm gonna try. Oh my God. Go get them. Okay, do it. I'll be right back. How did I get myself into this? We're sitting there, and I'm hoping, hoping that they can come down at least maybe 50%. Renee? Yes? The next thing I know, <laughs> there's a slight problem. She would like to get a discount. A discount? This is Beverly Hills, for God's sake. What's the matter with you? A $12,000 dress, she has a $3,000 budget. The math doesn't add up. I am not happy with Maria. You can give her $1,000 off the dress. OK. But that's it. $1,000? Yeah. Maria made the cardinal mistake. You do not show a bride a dress that is not in her price range. Boy. Coming up. Let's pretend like the other dress doesn't exist. Then this is the dress. Then you need to get excited about it. She can look all day long, but she will never find a dress better than that last dress. Of course not. That other dress just knocked everything else out. I'm not happy with Maria. A $12,000 dress, she has a $3,000 budget. What's the matter with you? I'm hoping, hoping that they can come down at least maybe 50%. So I talked to Renee, and the best Renee can do is $1,000 off. That's like a penny off a dollar. Just still too much money. You know, I just have to live with the decision that I made to try on the dress and move forward. Meanwhile, downstairs, you know what? What? Guess who I have in the salon? Who's here today? Mamie Van Doren. Oh my god, Mamie's here? I cannot believe she's still around. I thought she was gone a long time ago. Oh my <laughs> god, how old is she? She's 80. And listen, she looks better than me. When Kevin found out this 80-year-old Hollywood legend was upstairs, Kevin ran. Wow. How are you? You look so fabulous. Wow. Thank you. I'm a great fan of yours. Well, For I years and that. years and years. And you're very kind to say nice things. And I don't know how old you are, but you're very handsome. Thank you so much. Yes. She looks absolutely fabulous. So nice to be in your dear. Nice thing. Mwah. Love you. I love, love you, to too. See you again. Love you. But you know, when I look at them really closely, she's a really an old lady. She's 80 years old. You know, that's a reality. What can I tell you? Did you meet her? Oh my gosh, she looks fabulous for her age. I told you. <gasps> but she looked so tired. Listen, you be 80 and try on wedding gowns for over an hour. A 30-year-old would be tired. But you know, I feel so bad. She's getting so old. We're gonna get old too. Well, you know. I hope. I mean, we'd all love to stop the clock or put it in reverse, but let's face it, reality is reality. We grow old. Growing old is not for sissies. Just because you're a certain age, you have fear. You fear getting old, and you're lucky if you make it. 
You know what? It's going to happen. But you know what? Let's have a great time together. Let's have a great time and right. let's look really good. So let's go to Dr. Ray together. Laser, right? I'm going to make an appointment for us. You already did something. <laughs> don't do that to me. I got to go to work. You don't okay, work. Okay, see you later. I love you. Meanwhile, yeah, this is beautiful. Now I'm thinking, okay, I really loved the other dress before I tried on the $12,000 dress, so maybe I should just try this one on again. I really, really liked this dress a lot. Let's pretend like the other dress doesn't exist. Nice. Then this is the dress. Then you need to get excited about it. I'm working on it. She can look all day long, but she will never find a dress better than that last dress. Of course not. That other dress just knocked everything else out. So I come out again. Guys, this is the other dress. But I couldn't really get it back. I couldn't really get that feeling back. Uh, it's still just way kind of out of the budget. It's, it's not wowing you for that price. Right, I don't think it's wowing me for $8,000. Well, if it's not wowing you, then yeah. you won't be satisfied. Right. It was no. No, <laughs> that's not the dress. All right, Maria. So I pretty much shot myself in the foot. Can't get the dress. It's kind of like dating a married man when you know you can't have them. <laughs> Deborah's not buying a dress today because Maria lost control. Deborah's disappointed, I'm disappointed, and Maria's in the doghouse. There is a lesson here. I really recommend, if you have a $2,500 budget, look at $2,500 dresses. My day started with the gorgeous, talented Dr. Ray. Then I saw the gorgeous and talented Mamie Van Doren. And I ended with Deborah. I can't imagine what tomorrow will bring, but I look forward to it. What would all the Hollywood stars you worked with think of you now? <laughs> they would say, Mamie, I'll marry you tomorrow. I love <laughs> and tell me about the romances. Uh, there were so many of them. Oh! It'll take the whole hour. <laughs> I dated Rock Hudson, Tony Curtis, Jeff Chandler, had dinner with Gary Cooper. I dated Henry Kissinger. Ooh, I'm just married to a dentist. <laughs> well, I love you, Michael. <laughs>